Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at the Ducky Mecha Mini Frozen Llama Edition. I've already done an unboxing video and an ASMR video with some gameplay, so if you want to check those videos out, I'm going to put them down below in the description, and I'm also going to put them at the end of the video. So I took some extra time to make this review because I really wanted to test out the product, especially with hands-on products like keyboards or controllers, because they're constantly being used by the consumer. And while I can't hold the review off for too long, I can generally get a good feel for the durability and quality of a product after a decent amount of use. This review has been highly requested on the channel, and I'm excited to give you guys my opinion and thoughts on this keyboard. Before we get into the video, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button since it really helps out the channel, and if you're new here, I make all types of content on gaming and tech like reviews, discussion on unreleased products, and comparison videos, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Cool, now let's get into the review. Starting off with the specs, the Ducky Mecha Mini Frozen Llama Edition is a 60% keyboard that features an upgraded aluminum frame in contrast to the standard plastic frame that comes with the 1-2 Mini. This is going to make the keyboard itself feel more premium and heavy, as well as add to the build quality and durability of the frame. It also gives the switches a different sound than when hit against a standard plastic backplate. Switch options are pretty standard, you can choose from either Cherry MX Red, Blue, Brown, Black, Silver, or Silent Red. And this time around, since this keyboard is part of the V2 line of Mecha Minis, the Cherry MX switches have been updated to handle 100 million actuations, upgraded from just 50 million actuations. While I'm pretty sure no one was using up all 50 million actuations of each switch, I'm pretty sure this is just a nice reassurance about the quality of this board. Inside of the box, you're going to get the keyboard, a keycap puller, a USB Type-C cable, 10 extra alternate colored keycaps for more customization, and the user's manual. Moving to colorway, this keyboard features the Frozen Llama themed keycaps that look really good and match the frame perfectly. The keycaps aren't really shine through though, but the lighting just barely shows through the legends. I kinda wanted the keycaps to be shine through, but they still look great without it. The aesthetics and design of the whole board come together is what really makes this special to me. The tiny snowflakes and the Frozen Llama logo on the back of this board really makes this design stand out and tie the whole thing together. And another cool thing is that they're shipping these Frozen Llama keyboards in rounds and they put the round number on each one of the keyboards. Then on the left side of the case, you can see the Ducky and Mechanical keyboards logos since this is a collab between them. I'm seriously impressed by how nicely the design all fits together and I love the lighting on this keyboard. This lighting has to be the most vibrant and bright lighting I've seen on a keyboard and with putting keycaps these would shine so bright. And if you do decide to switch up some of the keycaps, like maybe you put on the Year of the Rat or Pig space bar on here, this is going to illuminate it really well since this is the updated PCB that has 3 LEDs under the space bar instead of the original 1 LED. If you didn't know, some of the older Ducky keyboards only had one LED under the spacebar, so the special design Year of the Rat and Pig Edition spacebars weren't being illuminated all the way and it just didn't look right. But now with the additional LEDs, it's going to look really good. Also, another thing to note is that just like the Ducky 1 2 Mini and Standard Mecha Mini, this keyboard does not have software and everything as far as per key customization and macros must be done on the board itself. Changing the lighting settings on the board is really easy and all you have to do is press Function, Alt, and T. From here you can access the per key lighting by cycling through the modes. Another testament to the build quality of this keyboard has to be the adjustable feet on the back. These have to be the best built in keyboard feet that I've ever used and the sound when you lift and lower them is so satisfying. It just doesn't get any better than that. Not only does it sound great, but this extra level of elevation gives you another typing experience and feel that you just don't get without any extra feet. And since it's built into the keyboard, you won't have to worry about losing them like with magnetic attachable feet that we've seen on some other budget keyboards in the past. Also, unlike the standard plastic 1-2 Mini, this Mecha Mini keyboard only has one level of elevation as opposed to two levels of elevation on the standard 1-2 Mini. And now here's that crispy keyboard ASMR you've been waiting for. So 
So while there's a lot to love about this board, I really only have one issue with it, and it's not a deal breaker, but it's just kind of annoying. So the dip switches on the Ducky Mecha Mini V2 don't work the same as the standard Plastic 1-2 Mini, and this wouldn't be so bad if there was a clear guide that showed how to program the keyboard in the box. And while the manual can be found online, I would have preferred they included this in the box since there aren't that many resources for programming macros for the V2 version of the Mecha Mini. For example, I wanted to set my right shift key, windows, control, and function keys to be arrow keys and I was following tutorials online for the 1-2 Mini that weren't compatible with the Mecha Mini. I'll take part of the blame for assuming the functionality was the same, but I feel like they should have made this more apparent. Shifting over to performance, this keyboard only supports one type of connection to PC, which is wired through USB Type-C. And from using it for almost a month now, I haven't had any lag, not even once, and everything just works how it's supposed to. The polling rate is rated for 1000 Hz, which is a one millisecond response time, which is the fastest USB connection possible at the moment. Meaning, this keyboard is sending 1000 input signals to your PC per second. This is going to minimize any delay between the keys being pressed and the input signals being received by your PC. I really appreciate that the keyboard is responsive and has no latency issues. And by now, Ducky's quality when it comes to their keyboards, especially the Mecha series, has been praised by reviewers and customers everywhere, so this thing is a solid board. So, do I recommend this keyboard and who is it for? I can easily recommend this keyboard and I attribute that to the quality of this board and the design that went into it. For everything that you're getting, I think the price is definitely reasonable at $129 and I would only not recommend this if you already have a Ducky Mecha Mini since you can easily just buy the keycap set and put it on your keyboard. Besides that, I highly recommend this keyboard. It's been an incredible performer that's probably going to be able to last for many, many years. Especially thanks to the build quality and the updated 100 million actuations on each switch on the board. I absolutely love this thing, and if they were to make any improvements to a future version of this board, here are some things that I'd like to see. Make this a hot swap board so we can experiment with some other switch types or give us more stock switch options like Kale and Gator on switches. Also, I would go back to two levels of elevation, just like we had on the original 1-2 Mini. And finally, let us use the original dip switch functionality of the OG 1-2 Mini, since there are more guides and resources on how to program that keyboard. Anyways guys, so that's gonna wrap up the video. Like usual, I'm gonna put the link for purchase down below in the description. So if you wanna buy this keyboard, you can go ahead and do that. If you enjoyed this video and wanna help me battle the YouTube algorithm, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to join the click. And if you have anything that you want me to review or talk about, drop it down in the comment section or just let me know what you thought about the video. If you wanna help support me, you can do that by following me on all my socials instagram twitch and twitter at tech underscore click you guys are awesome thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one